What's up, guys? This is uh, me coming at you again, microwave files for uh, game three of the NBA Finals, man. <laughs> Let's just get out of the way now. We all know what happens if LeBron loses tonight. He loses his crown. You can't call yourself a king when you're not getting rings. I know, you know. I know he has two, but uh, he needs to step his game up, and he needs to be more, uh, just a little more efficient. But um, it's not just about him. It's not about him. It's about two teams playing against each other, the Cavs and the Warriors, and who's gonna win tonight? I'll tell you who's gonna win. I think now that Kevin Love isn't playing tonight and is confirmed, the Cavs are going to win. And I know a lot of people out there are probably agreeing with me, saying, I mean, not about the win, but the Cavs might be better without Kevin Love. I don't even know. I'm, I'm being nice. Like, I think they are. Like, I'm not even guessing. Like, I'm, <laughs> you look at some of the numbers, like, obviously, rebounding numbers drop and stuff like that, that nature, maybe three pointers, but. As a team overall, their overall team goal, which is winning, and forcing other teams to play their style of basketball, Kevin Love just isn't really that athletic. And if he's not making shots, he kind of falls into a slump. And I just feel like when you have guys on the floor uh, who are maybe a little more athletic, a little more willing to have a, have a motor, sometimes I, I feel like... You know, that the Cavs have a good chance tonight just because of those things. And obviously, I think it's going to be a close game. I don't think it's going to be a blowout or anything like that. But I think the Cavs win this game. I want to go with a score of 98 to 94. Because I just think they're going to give it everything they have tonight. I think LeBron knows that this is all or nothing. Like I told you guys before, I believe in LeBron and Kyrie. I wasn't sure about Kevin Love now that he's not playing. I think it's I think it's a burden kind of lift off the Cavs' shoulder because they can play a different style of basketball without them. They can play a little bit faster. They can play more up tempo. They can play a little more free. Um, and I think in terms, of, even though like I said, the rebounding suffers a little bit, they're able to get on the fast break or um, you know able to get back in transition on defense a little bit quicker because, like I said, Kevin Love isn't the most athletic guy. So now you're you're looking at me crazy like. Well, how are they going to beat the Warriors? There's too many weapons. Relax. <laughs> what they need to do, in my opinion, to win this game, everybody knows LeBron, Kyrie is not a true point guard. Kyrie is a scoring point guard. And they just need to let LeBron run, run point and dictate the offense. Because until that happens, Golden State is going to continually just pressure Kyrie Make sure that he doesn't get anything easy to the basket. And when the same thing, Kyrie's almost like Kevin Love. When his shot's not falling, he's a different player. But with LeBron, you can't keep LeBron from the basket. My whole point. So you have to figure out a way to contain him. And if you're playing a, a brand of basketball, a style of basketball that's more physically imposing, because you have a 6'8 point guard at your 6'8 player running point, to me, that's more of a winning formula. So I think... You know, in order to get this win tonight, and I know it's going to be tough, LeBron has to get at least 30. He's got to be around triple-double, man. Triple-double numbers, 30, 10, and 10. 30 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. And you know what Kyrie's got to do. Kyrie's got to get at least 22 because these guys are the motors for the team. They're the superstars of the team. If you watch any Cavs game, when these guys get going and the shooters, and the shooters around them get hot, it's a wrap for the other team. I mean, it's very hard to beat them when everybody's hot on the Cleveland team, Cleveland Cavaliers. But in order for that to happen, LeBron and Kyrie need to hit shots, need to get to the basket, get to the free throw line, and they also just they need to they need to be the motors, the fire starters. And if they can do that tonight, I think they win ninety eight ninety four. It's not gonna be easy, but uh I think they'll get it done. Talk to me, hit me up tomorrow, man. <laughs> I'm going for my note, I think, but I think I, I think the Cavs are going to show up. So uh, we'll see what happens. 9 o'clock tonight. And uh, let's get it. And by the way, that scratch in the back, I'm about to let my dogs out. So uh, literally, not not figuratively. Um, but yeah, enjoy the game. Hmm. Should be fun tonight. It's game three. Winner go home, basically. 
Let's see what LeBron's got. 